Hey guys. Hey. How's everybody doing today? Love the shirt. Thank you. Straight out of Gotham. <laughs> That's where I came from. So we just heard that Bruce's storyline might be going a little darker this season, which is Absolutely. impressive considering where you started on the show. But can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean, Bruce is going to be taking on some major battles in season three. Um, First of all, I don't want to get too into specifics because that'll lead to spoilers, but um, actually, no, I'm not going to say first of all because uh, I, I don't want to spoil anything, but he's there are going to be some major, major, major opponents for him in season three that he will take on all on his own, and he will do it because he is Bruce Wayne. <laughs> um, and it's going to be so much fun. I'm, I, I just, you know, um, I was telling the table over there, season one, Bruce was grieving most of it, and he couldn't, couldn't really start his evolution into Batman just because it was just too early. He was, you know, he was still a kid and he was still, he just lost his parents a couple, couple months ago. Season two, you really saw that evolution kick off and he he made his way into Batman world. Um, and season three, he's going to have to check himself and say, what do I really want in this game? Well, who am I in, in the world of Gotham? What what are, What is my grand purpose? And he's going to, it's, it's going to be really fascinating to see what he decides, and um, and I think season three is going to be struggling with that. But if there's, there's, you're definitely going to see him develop his um, Playboy persona, uh, Playboy party boy persona. You know, in and the real, you know, and not in the real, but in when, when Batman's Batman, he has his public. You know, he has his his. Ah, I'm just a drunken, you know, Playboy. I don't really care about politics. I'm, I don't, and I'm just Bruce Wayne. I'm just hiding my manner, drunk all the time, um, and. He puts that front on so that nobody would ever suspect him of being, you know, Batman, because they're they're, they're such polar opposites. Um, and so Bruce is going to develop that persona for the public so that he can, you know, trick them, um, and so that he can do even deeper detective work in season three. What is the state of his relationship with Alfred? It's better than it ever was. I think. I think it's season, and I, they've gone through so many different phases. I think at the very beginning, Alfred was the help. You know, he <laughs> Bruce kind of saw him as like, now, now you're the one that's gonna be taking care of me. You know, great. Um, and then slowly he became a father figure. And then slowly, even after that, they became partners. And that's that's where we are now. You know, a lot of season two, you saw um, Bruce saying, "I promise, Alfred." I'm not gonna put myself in danger, and guess what? He does. Um, and Alfred, and it's it's this thing of Alfred saying, "Bruce, it's too dangerous. You can't do that." And Bruce saying, "I'm not gonna listen to you. Sorry, bye." Um, hey. <laughs> Um, and, y you know, it's, um, sorry, it just threw me off my train of thought. Um, and so, yeah, so, it was, it was a lot of, yeah, hey, Corey. Um, it, was a, it was a lot of, um, Alfred saying, don't do this, and Bruce saying, um, yeah, go screw yourself, I'm going to do it anyway. Um, and season three, Alfred's going to, Alfred realizes, you know, Bruce, you're going to do this no matter, with or without me. My, I might as well help you, I might as well do my, do the best I can to keep you safe and I, I'm gonna stop trying to thwart your your efforts into all this detective work and so they they're gonna become a team now really 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 strong team and there's gonna be none of that anymore and you know they they're they're partners they're really truly partners first comic I mean I'm trying to think the, I know the first book that I bought I don't it was I'm trying to find the first comic but the first book that I got it was I didn't even get because what be, when I when I first got in the role I was doing a um, a guest star role in for Drop Dead Diva in Atlanta it wasn't actually in, it was in Georgia outside of Atlanta but anyway um, I uh, and I was there and my studio teacher we you know we 
And she, uh, as I, I was there for about a week, and as I was leaving, my studio teacher bought me this kind of Batman encyclopedia. And it was, it covered everything Batman. There was a page on the Batmobile, there was a page on the Batcave, there was a page on Alfred, page on Gordon, page on Batman's love life, and everything you need. The Ro there was like 10 pages of the Rose Gallery, and it was a everything you needed to know Batman. I read the entire thing, probably about twice. I knew everything there was to know. I knew every single weapon that Batman had. Um, and that, 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 that thing was my Bible for a really long time. Whenever I wanted to refer to anything, I was like, what would, what would Batman do in this situation? Um, I, uh, I would check the book. And I, I'm trying to think of my um, the first comic. I, I can't remember the first comic. I bought, I don't think there was a first. I just bought like tons of them. And they're, they're like, if you go to my room right now, there's, they're everywhere. Half of them read, half of them not. I read them every day. Um, and I, I mean, research, it, it started out as research, but now I'm a fan. Now I just love, I love reading them. Because I just, I love the Batman storyline. Thank you. Have a great day, guys.